Good day students, hope you are all well. Welcome back to our series of Excel lectures. Today we will be doing 6.3 and 6.4. So that is the lecture for today. As usual we go to content, our MS Excel practical tasks and we are still busy finishing off with our logical if statements. Sorry, today we are doing 6.4 and 6.5 correction. We have done 6.3 on Monday. To recap on that, if we have a look at our syntax, it was an if and an if and another if. Please students, if you have questions on this, please contact us via WhatsApp or email to ask your questions and hopefully you will have got that one right. Let's take a look at today's work and it is a little bit easier than what we did on Monday and this will be an Excel statement that is a if and another if. So what I'm saying is if and if something else then we have an answer. The second part of that, and it works almost exactly the same, is if or if. So let's take a look at the activities. Um, I can show you unusually the syntax for today. So that was 6.3. We are busy with 6.4 and 6.5. On this one, we will have an if and another if. So, for example, that is the syntax you would learn. And unusually today, I'm giving you the example because there will be more activities which you can try on your own. If something is greater than 15 and if something is greater or less than 5, if those two criteria are true, it should display excellent. If and if they are not true, it is going to tell them to try harder. We will have a look at that one now. This one is a discount for a furniture store. And again, there is the syntax you would have, uh, have to learn. And the actual statement is if our distance for delivery is greater than 10 or the amount spent was less than 2,600 Rand. If that is true, they will get a 200 Rand delivery charge. Otherwise, the delivery charge is free and it is zero. Let's go and take a look at the activities. So the first one is a Teams exercise, 6.4. Let's open that. Enable our editing and let's have a look. I will make this larger so that we can see. It's an if and an if. I know we call it if and, but if you get down to the bottom of it, it is an if and another if. Let's jump past the instructions. Jack Yates Boys Teams. There are teams, scores and matches played. Now the criteria for this one, our if statement will go in the last column under the rating. And the criteria for this, if the team's score is higher than 15 points and if the matches played are less than 5, it must say excellent. Otherwise, if that is not true, the if and the if, it must say try harder. So if we have a look at this, the team's score was a 
above 15 and they played less than five matches it's saying they're excellent let's take a look at another example this one the team score is 15 and they played five matches but it's not above 15 so it is saying try harder even though that section is correct they have played five matches let us open the starter file and have a look at this one Let's let Excel open okay we're going to need to make this much bigger so that you guys can see on your screens there we go okay to keep it simple let's go and have a look at our syntax and the one we are looking at is 6.4 I'm going to delete 6.3 so that we do not confuse you and here is our statement I'm not going to put the answer directly in because that doesn't help us the answer is there for your reference to compare the syntax and a completed example that relates to the Jack Yates boys teams I am going to copy my syntax which I would have learned and I am going to paste it in where we would like our first answer having a look at the question what we would like is the team score team score needs to be greater than 15 points so 16 and above and the matches played are less than 5 for an excellent so we will take a look at our first statement if what if the score I beg your pardon we only type after our and you can see in the red brackets there if the score is greater than 15 and it goes back don't let this confuse you the matches played which is D3 is less than five matches so we've put in our criteria if the score is greater than 15 which is C3 is greater than 15 and the matches played which is D3 is less than 5 the value if true and I put inverted commas because it's text it's excellent if if and if it is false it should say try harder so have a look at your statement the syntax the way the syntax works is if and so let's take a look at the criteria C3 is greater than 15 and D3 is less than 5 if that is true it must say excellent otherwise it must say try harder please take a moment to have a look at that syntax so what we start off with is the instruction if and the first parameter the second parameter so here is the first and here is the second and and then the value if true and the value if false if it satisfies both those criteria so it's and if and and it will tell that team to try harder I am going to copy down 
and there we have our excellent and try harders so to recap on this one before I do the next activity students is if the score is greater than 15 and the matches played is less than 5 it must say try harder also it, it must say excellent apologies let's look at this example if this in this one the, the criteria satisfied is true so if the score is greater than 15 and the matches played are less than 4 that is now true both ands are true it's going to say excellent on the first one here the matches played are less than 15 sorry the score is less than 15 and the matches played is less than 4 so this and is false this and is true it's going to say try harder because both ands need to be true so this and and this and need to be true for an excellent so it is looking at both parameters I'm going to close this one students please come back and watch the video again for the explanation and please attempt the example I am now going to move on to 6.5 and 6.5 works very similar and it is known as an if or statement so instead of if and it's if or if let's open that activity I would like to close 6.4 and I am going to open 6.5 which is furniture store let's take a quick look so please be aware the if and and the if all work exactly the same in terms of syntax just the and and the or is changed the criteria works slightly differently okay if we have a look at this one we have a furniture store the basic gist of this is calculating the delivery charge using the if or function on the following two criteria a customer is going to be charged 200 Rand that's if true the distance is greater than 10 kilometers or the retail price is less than or equal to 2600 Rand so they've done a greater than 10 kilometers that's 11 and up and then they've done a 2600 Rand and up because they've done a less than or equal to 2,600 Rand. If this is true, or, sorry, if this is true, or this is true, the delivery charge is 200 Rand. If this is not true, and this is not true, the delivery charge is zero. If this is true, and this is not true the delivery charge is zero so that's the or function it's one or the other do not let that confuse you let's open the activity and have a look and then we will take a look at our syntax as well for this one it works exactly the same as an if and all we are doing is we are replacing the and with an or I need to make this much bigger so that you can see There we go. I have my hashtags because it can't display the information. I just auto size the column. And let's give ourselves some space here for the delivery charge and the amount payable. Because the delivery charge is where we are going to put the equation. Let's have a look at the syntax for this equation. And that is going to go under delivery charge let me spread it out a bit so that we can take a look if or if criteria 1 
all criteria to value if true, value if false. So take a good look at that one. If or if this is true or this is true, the value if true, the value if false. And that would be our 200 Rand and our zero. So let's put this one in. And take a look. Please remember this is very similar to the if and, except this is if one thing or one thing is true. If one thing or another thing is true, it will give us our relevant delivery charge. So I'm going to double click here. Please remember the if all becomes before the first criteria. If the distance, which is E3, is greater than 10 kilometers, or the retail price is less than or equal to 2,600. So having a look at this again once more, if this E3 is greater than 10, jump back, or second one, D3 is less than or equals to 2,600. The value, if true, is a 200 Rand delivery charge. The value, if false, is a 0 Rand delivery charge. So just to cover this once more, students, the way we say the equation, even though it begins with if or, if the distance is greater than 10, so there we have it, if your distance is greater than 10, jump back, or your retail price is less than or equals to 2,600. If either or of those are true, it will say 200, otherwise it will say naught. Did not seem to like my formula. Let's have a look at our syntax here. And these mistakes do happen. E3 greater than 10. E3 greater than 10. Semicolon. I have an equals in here. It's greater than or equals to 10. Very easy to make a mistake. Our 10 goes in there and not there. I see they've done a greater equal than and a less equal than to, which is in conflict with the instructions. You may use either. So if E3 is greater than or equals to 10 or D3 is less than or equals to 2,600. The value if true is a 200, otherwise it is a 0. You would format this column to currency. We can do that just now. There we go. Let's format our cells to currency for now. And I'm going to leave it currency with two decimal places. There we go. And in this case, they are going to be charged because the distance was not 11 kilometers, but they did spend more than 2,600. So it's if or if. In this case, they will not be charged a delivery charge because the distance is less than 11 and they have spent more than 2,600 Rand.
this case they've been charged because the distance is greater than 10 kilometers and you can take a look at that one and work that out the amount payable simply equals the retail price plus the delivery charge and that is already formatted in currency and we can copy down students please take a good look at the if and and the if or practice them please come back and look at the syntax that yes you do need to learn the syntax it is the easiest way to accomplish this task and please feel free to ask questions on the whatsapp group thank you for attending class today that was 6.4 and 6.5 and we will move on with v lookups next week and h lookups next week thank you for attending